Ratata. Ratata. We're not adding that in. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. My name's Keith, and I'm here with Phoenix Hookah Services. My name's Keith. My name's Caden. Also with Phoenix Hookah Services, actually kind of partners. Never seen me. I'm kind of behind the scenes, though. We're also never editing the part you messed up your own name. Anyways, we're coming here to you today with another video. Um, Roar Tobacco. Boom. Um, I, we just did a video about this carbine hookah, and I briefly mentioned this company. And I want to go, I wanted to have a separate video and go into a little more detail about this company. And this is a newer company. Uh, they're called Roar Tobacco, right there. R O R, got like a little picture of a tiger on there. This flavor that we're smoking is called Yummy Gummy. Yummy Gummy. It's a delicious citrus pineapple blend. <coughs> Excuse me. Very good. Um, yeah. Smells like some gummies. Yeah. Tastes like a little bit of gummies. <laughs> and it's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it reminds me a lot of the uh, the, fan, the Fantasia um, white gummy bear. Uh, but this is um, Virginia tobacco right here. And it's real leafy, like... Not too many stems actually at all. Let's see if I can get some of that in there. Real nice. Um, yo, you want to talk about juicy tobacco? Mm. No, I like it juicy. Like macaroni and cheese. Mm. If I had a fork right now, I'd show you. Um, <laughs> uh, I had I had forgotten some things at my house, so I had to run back home, and it was after I packed the bowl. And I was using a clay traditional bowl, and I packed this in there, laid some foil on top, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta run back home. I came back, I think I was gone for like 20 minutes. I came back, and there was a big puddle of juice, like underneath the bowl. I just had the bowl sitting upright. And I thought it was like water or something, and I was like, wait a minute, that's not water. That's definitely... Seeping a little bit of juice. It was it was seeping some juicage. And uh, I was like, we gotta switch out bowls. So I ended up topping off a... Uh, a funnel bowl up top, which is perfect for your juicier flavors because you don't waste the juice down your stem. That way, you pres preserve a lot of the flavor and get. And that's that's what gives it its longevity. To be honest, um, if you're used to smoking the Alfacher tobacco, this is a very different ball game of tobacco. It's much much bigger cut leaves, and uh, I know it's definitely a lot more juicy than the Al Alfacher. Which, I'll, I mean, I'll be honest. I think I, I usually. For years, I've smoked the Alfacher, and this is the first time that we've we've both ever smoked yes. this. Alfacher, your mainly go-to thing. It's your go-to. I mean, they're... Alfacher mint is what his go-to thing is. Oh my gosh, I was on that stuff for too long. Like there was like a solid year where I smoked only that, just mint. Mm. Worst year of my life. It wasn't. It was the best year. We had so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it was, I did. It was a good time. Uh, so, anyways, back to the roar. This. Somebody once told me on Instagram that this tobacco was like the bee's knees, the thing to smoke, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it out. So I was able to get my hands on some of it, and like I said before, it's delicious. Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> I mean, there's not much more I can say about how it tastes. I mean, I'm scared. It tastes like it smells. I know I've done some other videos for some other tobaccos, and I've mentioned that it tastes like it smells, and I think that's like... It's either a good thing or a bad thing, but in this, it's a good it thing. It probably hints the names that they name them. You know, it's thinking. Yeah. My little two cents in there. Yeah. I don't know. Yummy gummy. I mean, if it didn't smell like gummy, I mean, since it smells like gummy, why would they, I'm just, I mean, what would they else would they name it? Yummy not gummy? Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I like this tobacco a lot. It's definitely worth worth getting i went on their website and um their their prices are pretty good i think a tub for this is about 13 dollars. could be more depending where you live yeah because uh, i know yeah tax and shipping and stuff you know whatever but uh i like this a lot this is like i said before it's virginia tobacco 0.05 percent nicotine zero tar that's pretty much standard for all your hookah tobacco so nicotine 0.05 okay. percent yeah okay. yep is that does that scare you a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. My boy scared us some nicotine. Anyways. 
So here, you can I'm have take it. some of that. And also that nice little spool. I'm not an avid smoker at all. Um, I only smoke really when I'm around him. This is only my second hookah, but by far, this I mean this is probably one of my favorites. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it is by far one of my favorites so far. We have how many other flavors do we have of this? Um, I think we have three other flavors. Three other flavors. Yeah. Of this. So this is my first. This is our our first flavor. Yeah, we haven't smoked, smoked any of this one, but um, so far it's pretty good. What else do we have? Uh, we have uh, blue can't ice. Remember. Blue ice mints. Blue ice. Yes, it's, it smells it like smells whew, strong. I'm excited. A little to bit try like it. Listerine. So um, any mint flavors out there will probably like that flavor. But back to this one. Yummy gummy. It's a nice flavor. A fruity flavor. What is that kind of fruity? Sweet flavor. It's like a citrusy pineapple. Citrusy pineapple. Yeah. It's, it's got some sweet to it. Like, I know, I mean, most of your fruity flavors are kind of sweet anyways. Uh, it's good by itself, I will tell you that. Uh, he is one to um, mix mint with anything. Even if it's a pre-mixed flavor with mint, he has a little bit more dab of mint in it. Don't know why. It's just... A little dab of mint in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I've always been weird about putting just, like, not mixing mints in a bowl. But... Honestly, Even if he's yeah, mixing his man, should I put I mint tell. in here? I said, no, you can't put mint. Especially if, in this, if it's not ROR tobacco mint. You can't put any other mint in it. Full review. <laughs> I'll be honest, I did mix a little bit of Alfalker mint in it yesterday. Was what, it yesterday? Oh, was that over here? I was about to say. Day before ball? yesterday. Okay. Yeah, day before yesterday. Is that oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. I did put a little bit of Alfalker mint, and quite honestly, like... I don't. I didn't put a whole lot of it in there, but I, I really can't tell a difference. I enjoy it like this. I mean, the company really knows what uh, what they're doing with with their, with their flavors <coughs> and everything. It's probably why they're a company. It's probably why most companies are companies because they know what's going on. I guess. Um, <clears throat> I'll definitely continue to be smoking this comp this brand R O R Roar. I don't. I don't know if they if they call it Roar or R O R. I call it Roar because there's a tiger on the front of it. I feel like tigers roar, you know. They do roar. That's a pretty R O R O R for me. So on our scale, one or zero. That's all we do. One or zero. It's Binary. not or it is. It is or it isn't. What it, you think? It be or it don't be. Zero one. I think it's a one. It's definitely one for me too. It's definitely a. It's definitely a good flavor smoke. Um, I mean, even even beginners like me, even a, a little bit of nicotine, it don't bother me. Probably shouldn't bother you. Probably got throat cancer by now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have a <laughs> cancer policy specifically because I smoke a lot of hookah. So that's crazy. Yeah, I do actually. Mm. Anyway, so uh, it's definitely a one um, smoke output. I rank it pretty high. It uh, smokes good, especially in this hookah. Ten out of ten. I, I think it's the the size of the tobacco leaf, like to keep it kind of bigger. And the juices in there kind of kind of yeah. keep the flavor going on pretty strong too. Funnable, oh, I would probably say it's a must. If you don't have a Funnable, you're probably going to be juice all down your stem. It's going to be probably messy. Yeah, Funnable is the juice you have down to. your stem. Hmm. A Funnable or a Vortex Bowl, but even a Vortex Bowl, if you pack it a little high, no, it wouldn't matter anyway. No, yeah, Vortex or Funnable. As long as you have that little stem in the center of the bowl, you're good. Yeah, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Other than that, one or zero, it's a one. Definitely, definitely recommend. Smoke output, one. Uh, I recommend. My name is Keith. Phoenix Huka approved. My name is Keith, and I approve this message. I'm Caden, and um, like, subscribe, <laughs> if turn you want on notifications. Feedback is also also welcome. Comments. So if you want to leave some comments, you can do that. Drop some. If they're know. bad comments, boy, that was fun. You better watch out. Got hostile there for a second. Better watch out. Anyways, uh, we'll be back with you with some more videos. Um, like I, like we mentioned before, we have more. Uh, tobacco from this company so we're going to be testing it out and definitely more reviews coming soon after we do some of the other flavors maybe we'll try mixing some and... don't know why you're staring at me okay i'm sorry because i'm talking like to you i'm talking i don't know anyway if you like it guys please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel you've been great we'll see you next time that's a cut why you gotta bring that up i'm staring at you bro because <laughs> it's funny bro <laughs> it's funny key come on